Most NAND flash memories are based on this floating gate MOSFET transistor. Also known as a NAND flash cell, it can be programmed by different voltage thresholds. For this video, I'm going to show the NAND flash voltage thresholds as a water glass to show the difference between SLC, MLC, TLC and QLC. So let's get started. SLC, also known as single level cell, stores one bit of data per NAND flash cell. MLC stands for multi-level cell and stores two bits of data per NAND flash cell. TLC follows the same logic with more voltage thresholds to store three bits of data per NAND flash cell. QLC, meaning quadruple level cell, involves storing four bits of data per NAND flash cell. This ends up resulting in 16 different voltage thresholds. But the problem is this. Higher density flashes like TLC and QLC are more prone to errors. As you can see, there is a smaller threshold difference between the on and off states of each bit. This makes them less reliable than SLC and MLC. Furthermore, since they are more granular, they take longer to program. When filling the SLC water glass, one can simply pour water until it's full. Filling the higher density cups would involve a slower and steadier hand. I hope this video taught you something new. If you liked it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe.